Hi everybody, my name is, is John Heck. I am uh, the state representative for Watertown and for Cambridge. And um, thank you all very much for coming. This is a, a tremendous, tremendous turnout. And I think um, that just shows how important and how, how timely uh, the issue of bike safety is. Uh, we have more and more people taking to the roads on their bikes. That's a, that's a great thing. That's a, a trend we want to we want to encourage. We want to uh, see that continue. And um, in order to make that happen, we want to make sure that everybody is, is safe when they uh, get on the road on their on their bike. And we want to make sure that cyclists feel comfortable, feel welcome on the roads. Uh, and that's what we're going to be talking about uh, tonight. Um, one of the uh, important audiences for our conversations tonight. Uh, is, is the legislature up the street here. Um, it would be a, a good outcome, it would be a great outcome, if at the end of uh, this evening we've got momentum behind some specific uh, idea or ideas uh, for what the legislature could be doing uh, to improve bike safety in Massachusetts. Uh, and I want to uh, be sure to recognize we have a number of legislators in the room tonight. They've been a great help in, in organizing this event, and they will also be important, obviously, in, in subsequent stages if, if we move ahead with some ideas in the legislature. So we thank them all very much for coming and for being part of getting this event uh, together. Um, I'm just going to say a few quick words about, about what we're going to do here tonight. Uh, we're going to start off with a with a relatively uh, brief speaking program. Uh, we have a number of representatives of uh, different organizations and also uh, the Cambridge and, and Boston city governments who are going to talk about their experiences, their perspectives on uh, bike safety and also share with us uh, some of the things that they're doing uh, to improve bike safety. We have uh, representatives from the Massachusetts Motor Transportation Association, that's the Truckers Association here in Massachusetts, from the MBTA, uh, and as I said, from Cambridge and from, from Boston. Um, then, uh, after they have made their remarks, uh, we're going to invite everyone to uh, circulate again in the room. Uh, you see that around the room we have positioned a number of, of poster boards, that uh, describe ideas, some of them uh, embodied in, in legislative proposals uh, to uh, address issues of bike safety. Uh, and there will be, uh, next to these uh, posters, uh, representatives of various uh, organizations, many bike advocacy <coughs> groups, and I should say that they've been a tremendous help also in, in organizing this event. And they will give some uh, brief explanation of, uh, of the idea, and we'll be happy to uh, answer questions, engage in some discussion, and uh, we invite you to circulate around and take a look uh, at and, and discuss as many of these different ideas uh, as, as, uh, as you like and as you have time for. Uh, then at around 8 o'clock, we're going to report back, we're going to reconvene I, uh, in these uh, sort of different positions that people are in now, and um, we will have some uh, brief summary of the discussions that were uh, held at these different stations around, around the room. Uh, there will be an opportunity for a little bit of additional uh, discussion and, and, and perhaps some, some additional questions and answers. And then we're going to invite you to express your view. Uh, we're going to express you, express you, invite you to express your support we're asking you to, to choose one of these ideas. We know that there are a number of ideas you may uh, be interested in, a number of them, but in order, again, to sort of gather as much information, we're asking people to uh, report back on which idea they find most uh, appealing, most, uh, most attractive, and to do that uh, via the website that was set up for this event, uh, mabikesafety.com slash survey. You can either do that here uh, with your smartphone, or you can do it uh, after you leave and go home. And that will give us uh, uh, some real-time uh, feedback from the group as to what you thought about the ideas that were put forward uh, tonight. 
So uh, that's the game plan. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really actually surprised at the notion of strict liability uh, the way they have in the Netherlands, where if, you say, if there's an accident between a car or truck and a license, it's the presumption that the law is that it's the fault of the car or truck truck. I'm just surprised it's not an option. Well, there, there are probably many other options that could be considered. By all means, again, go onto the website. Make, there's a place there to make comments. If you have other ideas beyond these, by all means, put them forward. We didn't mean to suggest this was exhaustive. We just wanted to get discussion going on a number of different ideas, but we'd be happy to hear others as well. Um, so let me uh, turn now to our first uh, speaker. And that is Ann Lynch, who is the executive director of the Massachusetts Motor Transportation Association.